Technician 775 here. This evening we're going to be doing a bag of Idaho uh, original uh, mashed potatoes here. Uh, we're going to do this without using a food saver, just the oxygen absorbers. Uh, yesterday I did a video and the flour was going up into the machine and that's the easy way to take and ruin a machine. So what we're going to do is take just a bag and I got this picked this up from Sam's today and it'll be a, just a quick video here on doing a few of these and I'll show you how to take and just put the okay all right just like that I don't want to take up too much of you guys and girls time but you know this is pretty pretty straightforward pretty simple I didn't even take the didn't even take the mason drawers out of the box I just cut the top off and we'll reuse the um, uh, we'll we'll reuse the plastic right here. So, alrighty, and we'll just see how many mason drawers it's, it's actually going to take to do a. I think this is a five-pound bag of, of instant uh, you know, potatoes. Like I say, this is from Sam's Club. So, and whenever you put a product in here, you want to wiggle it and let the product settle until it's about about even with the bottom of the funnel and if you you do this once or twice with rice or beans or or flour or uh, potatoes here you'll see what I'm talking about I mean just fill it up to the top of the neck and then shake it and put some more in it's gonna settle down to a certain point and actually stop settling after that and that's about where you want it. So, um, I may have, if I make too much of a mess, I may have to take the jars out of the box and get all the potato flakes because we don't want cucarachas in there feasting on what we've spilled because that's just a perfect way to take and invite roaches, although they cannot get into the mason jar. But still, you don't want roaches in the, in the, in the critters running all over your your food stores and stuff. You want to keep that as, as clean as possible. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to take probably six, maybe seven, uh, seven jars or pretty close to it. Um, you might be able to take and put a little bit, pack some more of this down. But, and this will actually keep for quite a few years because back in when we prepped for Y2K, I put a lot of dehydrated potatoes like this away as well and uh, we use those for years and uh, with no ill effects they didn't go bad or or anything so yeah I might be able to get the rest of this it's not going to be quite another uh, jar so I'll just kind of shake these around just a little bit and get this in there without wasting too much of video time and that's going to be that's okay that's gonna be enough for right now all right what we'll do we'll open up a fresh pack of oxygen absorbers and then again these are 300 cc oxygen absorbers uh, picked up from LDS Latter-day Saints the canneries over there and you can find these on eBay or just about anybody that's got them they run about 10 cents a piece from LDS although um, you can maybe be able to find find you a, a favorite eBay seller and say hey look uh, give me your best price I'm gonna be buying quite a bit you know from from you and they make make you a deal uh, worst case scenario they can just say uh, no and then you can say well thank you very much I'll go somewhere else okay we're not gonna use the uh, food saver and yesterday I did a little experiment I put some of these in face down like this or the, the pointy portion down and it took almost twice as long as form as from the, the caps to snap as I did just put them like in here just flat right there so we're gonna put them in flat like this and that way they'll absorb all of the oxygen and actually keep these quite well it's just as good if not better than vacuum sealing uh, vacuum sealing you'll get most of the oxygen out oxygen out but not all of it and we want to make sure these are actually I'll just take and redo this in the way the rest of them are and yesterday we had 43 jars of 
a tortilla flour and I was sitting here doing some work and after about 30 to 45 minutes you could hear them starting to pop going pop 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 where the lids were actually coming down so these have been wiped clean as a moist uh, a moist towel okay and nothing special just put the lids on get them you know good and tight don't uh, don't wrench them where they break um, and just make sure these are actually down like that and you got a good seal inspect your seals and I did that before I started the video um, you know and just get a just get them to go down like this and in about 30 to 30 minutes to an hour depending on how much oxygen is in the uh, potatoes they'll start going going down all right just like that you'll hear them go snap snap um, all righty and that's it and like I said that one I know this okay maybe this is a uh, okay now we'll just do until they go down on their own okay well that was packaging uh, five pounds of uh, red original uh, mashed potatoes there and I'll just use the rest of those around the house here and the rest the rest of these put them as always in a mason jar uh, and that's how I keep them and I'll actually use the vacuum sealer machine to go in and seal the can that way these things right here aren't having to do any extra duty uh, although as many as, as they are in the jar and as little oxygen as it'll be in there uh, it won't but I just anal about that okay so okay um, this is Technician 775. Please subscribe and let us know if you like the videos. There's one gentleman that didn't, uh, I didn't finish the video and he kind of got hot under the collar and which is okay. You know, hey, um, you guys are here to learn and girls are here to learn. And if I don't do something, you know, where it, it helps you learn, I need to take and either redo it or do something different. So uh, we will do the videos completely. Um, uh, all the way from from now on or at least show you how to do this just in case you don't get a chance to look at the other videos you can actually look at this one and say okay well that's how that's how you do that so all right I'm gonna finish this up and this is technician 775 until next time thanks for watching technician 775 here back just for a second uh, what I did I went ahead and cut the serving instructions on how to make this off the back of the bag and the uh, small uh, portion of the bag right here that had the uh, what with the content so I'm gonna actually gonna tape this to the front and it looks kind of nice and the directions in English they've got three different languages a little bit of Spanish I speak is enough to get me in trouble and I'm gonna take the uh, directions in English right here and actually put it inside of the, the case right here when I tape all this shut and finish it up because I'm gonna get another bag and finish these up that way I can tape this case shut with some uh, box and uh, tape um, the clear uh, box and tape with a uh, tape uh, dispenser so I so wanted to show you that and that always if you need to get into this you'll have the directions right here and it'll be easy for you to take and, and work with again thanks very much for watching 775 signing off